Okay, I made another tutorial today on replacing hair and eye color, and I don't think it was as good as what I'm about to do. So I'm going to show you an easier way to get started on this tutorial. I'm going to find a cool long haircut picture. I want a photo that has mostly hair in the picture. So this is mostly hair, a lot of hair in the photo. I'm going to copy that image, and I'm going to go over to Pixlr. Okay, this is Pixlr E. Oops, that says YouTube. Let's go to actual Pixlr. Where are you, Pixlr? Let's just type in Pixlr. P-I-X-L-R dot com, Pixlr. And then we're going to go to the E. This is the advanced editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit Control V, and I'm going to paste. And it pastes the picture in. I can zoom in with my scroll, and you're going to want to zoom in for this. I'm going to paste it again. I'm going to paste it twice. The reason I'm pasting it twice is so I can see a before and after. So I'm going to be on the top layer. And I am going to make another layer, clicking this little plus sign. And you can just select either, if you click plus, you'll get the options here, or you can click your hover over the plus and select empty layer. And that should go on the top. We're gonna to put our color on the top layer. So I'm just gonna pick a color. I'm gonna just pick a more radical, different color, okay? This works better on hair colors that are lighter colors. So if you have a very dark colored photo, it may or may not come out as good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint and I'm just gonna be very careful to not paint on her actual face. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be really careful on the edges um, painting it. Actually for now, just for the just for the effect of the tutorial, I'm gonna, gonna go fast uh, and just paint so that it fills the area around her hair. And I'm going to show you how we can fix it. It's like, what are you doing? This looks horrible. Um, yes, I know. Right now it does look horrible. But the cool thing is I'm not destroying the picture of her at all. It's on another layer. So I can turn that layer off. I can turn it back on. But I can also change this, the three dots. We can change the blend mode. And we can also just change transparency. See that? That already, already looks kind of cool. But blend mode, I found multiply actually looks really cool. Now, I want to clean up these weird spots. So I'm going to get the eraser tool. Uh, this is the eraser tool. If you hover your mouse, it'll tell you what it is. And the keyboard shortcut is E. Boom. Oh, control Z. I don't like that. Don't use that. I don't know why that did that, but it, I don't like it. I'm going to make sure I selected the layer with the paint color on it. I'm going to start erasing. Now, I'm going to hit control Z. I suggest zooming in and making your brush size smaller so you can be more accurate. Okay, and also you might want to make, yeah, I think that's fine. I'm going to just get in there and I'm going to zoom in using my roller. And I'm going to just be, I click and I release. I click and I release. Release the mouse a lot because if you hold the mouse for a really long time and you make a mistake, you have to control Z and you undo everything you just did. So if I just do a little bit and a little bit more, you're going to get a better result. Click and release, click, click and release. That way you have the power of undo in your hand. Um, I might let a little bit of this, zooming in is really gonna help. Zoom in, then you can grab these bars on the side. Sorry, my picture's in the way. Um, these bars here will let you kind of close in on the spot you wanna fix. I wanna fix that, I wanna make it look smooth and real. I want this to look as real as I can. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. Uh, like see right here where I got her face. I'm gonna erase, I'm erasing that color. I'm just seeing you can see I'm erasing it on the layer and not on her picture. See, this is I really want to get this right. I don't want her eyes to have any coloration right now. I might color her eyes later. This is way better than my other tutorial. So I'm gonna leave my other tutorial there just as a sign that I make a lot of mistakes. Control Z, I didn't like that. I'm in more here. She's sort of got some hair there, so I might switch back and starting to look good. I think right here I made a mistake too. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. Try to, you don't want to do anything really extreme because you can sort of see it. It sort of looks like I'm doing single clicks here, like just clicking single times. Now there's that blonde strand of hair, which I might clean up later. I missed a few spots you can see, but I can turn that layer off and turn it back on and I can sort of compare. 
And then um, I can also try different blend modes. Let's try screen. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Lighter. Nope. Overlay. Overlay looks kind of cool. Um, darken. Uh, color dodge. Soft light. Ooh, soft light. Mm, I like that. So play with it. Play with the different filters. The goal of this particular assignment is to get it the most realistic uh, hair color change you can, but looking with a new color. So this is better than my last tutorial, much improved. I like this technique better. Uh, so let's, uh, let's try this one instead. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Have fun with technology.